Welcome to this month's Hacks and Bodges special where we take a look at the very best stuff you've been sending in to the Dirt Shed Show, our weekly event, uh, where we take a look at all your stuff you've been doing. We get this stuff on the GMBN uploader. The link is in the description down below. So if you want to get involved, that's how you do it. But let's take a look at what we've got this month. We've got some great ones. Um, I think it's hack heavy this week. It's hack heavy. It's not many bodges. Take a look at some of this stuff, starting with David's toolbox. He headed off to university, but he wanted to take all of his tools, even his wheel jig with him, but he needed to create some way of doing that in a compact fashion. Uh, we all know what it's like in uni halls. It's not easy for space, but he's done an amazing job with this box. But look, this is what I love about it. Look how it unfolds into kind of like two versions. It can be a standalone box unit on its own, so it's a wheel jig, uh, a foot either side of it, I imagine. You just work away on a wheel, lovely therapeutic wheel building session. Um, but it also can turn into like pretty much a workbench where it just opens up the wheel jig in the middle, tools on either side, turning his dorm room and his uni into basically a workshop. It's brilliant, I mean, Man, if that was for sale, I'd buy that. I just love how it can move around in these different shapes. So clever, such an ingenious solution. Some serious skills on display there. Um, really, really like it. David, you have smashed it. And it's a great way to start this show. Um, but what we've got up against that, I mean, I don't know if actually anyone's against anyone. I don't think we should call this a competition. Uh, this next one is, it looks so simple, it almost looks like nothing. But Christopher uh, has always asked his girlfriend in the past to help him bleed his brakes. Now, standing there holding a syringe for someone while they bleed brakes, keeping the fluid up high, <laughs> it's kind of a boring job. But this time he thought, I tell you what, I'm gonna come up with an ingenious way to do it myself. So he got a coat hanger, that's all this is, a coat hanger, and he's done some ingenious bending. I reckon he's probably used some thin nose pliers to do this because he's done a really good job of it. Some very accurate 90 degree turns. But look at it, it's just holding the bottle up, the syringe, uh, perfectly. No need for anyone to help. It's just so simple. And I think this one's great because obviously we've got that amazing toolbox from uh, David that was fantastic. But Christopher has come up with this, this brilliant little solution. So it's, it's like two ends of the scale, you know? I love that, it's so great. And that's what Hacks and Bodges is all about. Open our minds, people, open our minds. Show a simple way to solve problems that we all come up against. We all come up against. Bleeding brakes is something we've all got to do. Now, on the same vein as this one. Now, on the Dirt Shed Show, we were recently sent in a way of drying out your drinks bladder after you've been using it. Um, and the solution was putting a toilet brush in it. Now the toilet brush goes in and expands and lets the air circulate around and dry the bladder out. But it's a toilet brush, it looks gross. Who wants to drink, even if I'm sure it was a brand new to toilet brush. Got it, I hope it was a brand new toilet brush. But even the idea of a toilet brush in your drinks bladder is a bit weird, but it works. So Erica, who is a great friend of GMBN over in Kentucky, sent us this solution Look, you just get a set of uh, tongs, clip clip, using the uh, suspension in them. Suspension? Basically the bounce. And you put them in and they bounce out and just hold the bladder open and then you can just leave it to dry. It's so simple. Erica, genius. That is a great hack. Love it. And it's, it's, it's something important you should do. You should dry out those bladders because you don't want stagnant water sitting in there and turning into something awful. So. Even if it's a toilet brush, stick something in that bladder. Well, that was a weird sentence. <laughs> anyway, moving on next. Jamie out on the trails, going down the trail. Suddenly he's lost all back brake. Oh my God, nearly crashes, saves it. Looks at the bike and the pads are gone. What's happened is the split pin that holds his back brake pads in has come out. So he goes back up the trail. Luckily, he finds the pads. Now, that is a stroke of luck, but you can't find the pin anywhere. So how's he gonna get home with no back brake? You don't wanna be front braking all the way home on a big ride, that could get sketchy. But Jamie's come up with this great solution. He's gone into his pocket, found a spare key ring, and opened it out. Not easy to do, but he's opened it out enough 
that he's managed to put it through and it's gone through the disc mount, through the disc pads, held them in, and he's gonna get home and he's still got a working back brake. I'm sure it wasn't perfect, but you know what? It probably works enough to get him home and it's a great save. Now, what can we learn from that? Well, I think being able to clear your mind when something's gone wrong and think clearly about what can I do to solve the situation? What have I got with me? Is there anything I can use to help solve this? Zip ties, key rings, sticks, anything out on the trail sometimes can be the solution to get you home. And Jamie has smashed it here with this key ring idea. So when you're putting your keys in your pocket next time, don't just see them as a way of getting in your house. They might be the solution to getting home on your bike. Great one, Jamie, love it. Right, next up from Bruce. This is something pretty special. Uh, way beyond a hack, definitely not a bodge. Uh, Bruce got into building some bikes uh, in a bit of downtime and he's come up with this beauty. This is totally hand-built by Bruce. It's got some great things about it. I love this cable routing on it. It's amazing, but it, it's sort of kind of like a backpacking, tool-carrying weapon um, and he He's basically built an absolute beauty here. He was using it for transporting climbing gear up to little bouldering spots, things like that. But then he went a bit further. He took it on a ride, and this was amazing uh, where he's taken it. Uh, he went from Romania to Transylvania on this bike. Um, uh, he went to Romania, he went from Transylvania actually to the Black Sea over all types of surfaces uh, via the Carpathian Mountains, um, dodging rabid dogs and brown bears, he says. Uh, it, it looks like an incredible bike and it's clearly done a great job. He says, oh look, it's a bit dated, it's got uh, 27 gears and 26 inch wheels, but it's all he had and he was watching the money, didn't want to go crazy. But man, it's a bike. You've made an incredible bike. And Bruce has gone on now to actually start in his own small business where he's designing cycling components. What's the brand? I need to know, Bruce. Let us know. We'll talk about it on the Dirt Shed Show. But he says it's funny how uh, serendipitous things work out. It's a really great looking bike. It's an awesome, awesome hack to end on this month. I mean, We've really been spoiled with some fantastic stuff. So thank you all for sending your stuff in to the GMBN Uploader. Now, everyone else watching, if you've got something we can look at, learn from, please send it in. It might turn up on the Dirt Shed Show or here on our monthly look back of our hacks and bodges that we've got from you guys. Um, until next time, I'm gonna say goodbye and go out on a bit of a hacks and bodges sing song, but make sure you get involved. The link's in the description down below. Three, two, one. Three. Hacks and bodges, hacks and bodges, hacks and bodges, hacks. Yeah, I'm a mental case. I'm a basket case. I'm in a room on my own singing a song that nobody sings along to. Or do you? You did. Yes. High five. Latest.